many of them anyway, are demanding a Mother's Day gift from Tony Abbott. 73% of them say they will work more hours helping drive the Australian economy if nanny services are made tax deductible. It's time for The Grill to discuss this and other topics. We're joined by family therapist Karen Phillip and social commentator Lisa Oldfield. Welcome to the show Hello, and happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Celebrating the mothers of Australia. Absolutely. Karen, yes. What do you think, Karen? Well, uh, I think we do need to have nannies tax deductible. It's simple as that. We don't have the flexibility in our hours in childcare yep. and gone are the nine to five jobs. Yep. You know, we, we start earlier, we work longer, we work on weekends, so we have to have it. But if they're going to do it, they need to have a national register. They need to have minimum qualifications like a first aid certificate, a working with children check, and some sort of basic qualification. And in the blue corner. Oh, look, it's a step in the right direction. I agree with Karen there, but look, nannies are not without their problems. Um, a very good friend of mine, Tom, hired a Swedish au pair, 19, big boobs, legs up to her armpits, and his wife absolutely hit the roof. Mind you, they didn't have children at Imagine the time. Imagine if that so, was right. <laughs> so, so it didn't go down so well. So look, step in the right direction. Something else I'd like to see is that I don't think anybody does a better job raising their kids than their parents. So yeah. if we could look at something like income splitting, where you know, dad might be making $100,000 a year, which isn't a lot of money when you're paying a mortgage and the rest of it. And if maybe mum and dad you know, are paying a, a, a rate of tax of 50000 each while... That's one of them a great off. idea. Yeah. That is a really good idea. You should run for... I power. should. <laughs> Vote one, Lisa. Yeah. You know, it could be a legitimate source of work for nannies too, yeah. obviously. You know oh, what I mean? It could grow that part yes. of the industry. Yeah. yeah. Could no, be good all round. Important. Now, a Canadian writer has live-tweeted somebody else's breakup, a bit of snooping. Uh, it's not the first time something like this has happened. He was listening in in a cafe to a breakup happening around him. Is he out of line with this, Lisa? Are you allowed to report like this, do you think? No, look, if you're airing your laundry in public, I think you are fair game. Um, I overheard a bloke in a restaurant the other day and he was going hammer and tongs with his missus on the phone. I said, look, after five minutes of your ranting and raving, you need to get her on speakerphone so we can hear both sides <laughs> of the story. That's right. But um, no, the problem I have is with celebrities that overshare. I don't yeah. know if you know of um, Katie Price, who is Jordan. Yeah. You know, she's got four kids to three different guys. I mean, she's by all appearances, she's had you know, been rogered more than a CB radio. But um, <laughs> she found that her husband had been cheating with her best friend and decided to share that on Twitter with oh. her millions of followers before approaching the best friend oh. or the husband. So, you know, really, keep some things to yourselves. Ten the four, big is, buddy. Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> really <that>. interested, <laughs> even though this, is, uh, this article is uh, about something that's probably a bit unethical. We're interested. We're always interested. We've all been there, done that, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But we're interested and we're going to tune in and we're going to want more information, unfortunately. It's not the better angels of our nature, is it? But we are curious. We are. We are curious people and we want to Sticky find Sticky yeah, Yes, exactly. absolutely. So you're all for live tweeting of um, personal information being well, real. Well, no, my personal no. information, but anything you tell me off the set. Be Happy Mother's good. Day, guys. Another round of applause Happy for the mums of Australia. Yeah. 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 Yeah.